Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab, and there are a ton of games that come out only in Japan and you want to play them, but you can't because you don't speak Pictionary. There are four ways around the problem. 1. Learn how to read Japanese. Although this method works really well, it will take ages and you want to play that maybe hentai, maybe not JRPG now. 2. Hire a Japanese person to sit with you as you play and they do the reading for you. Again, it's not very practical and it's quite costly. If you try to just capture someone and force them to do your bidding, you may find that what you're doing is not actually permitted in your country of residence and the police sharp at your door. 3. Play your Japanese Japanese game and have your phone close by running Google Translate in lens mode. Every time Japanese text appears on the screen, just hold your phone up to your TV and you get a translation. It's a bit wonky donkey sometimes, but it's okay. Use the same website as me and just download the games with English patches already applied. This is the correct way and what I want this video to be about. In fact, we're going to look at some games that never saw English translations and we'll start with an absolute banger. Hideo Kojima is a maniac, but his games are great, although he's far more known for his Metal Gear series, the plots in those games feel like they're created by the fucking Rain Man. For my money, I think his cyberpunk adventure games were much better. I'm talking about Snatcher and Police Norts. These are point and click adventure games with cool cyberpunk stories, written and directed by Hideo Kojima. Now although Snatcher saw most of its releases only in Japan, it did get a singular West and ports of the Sega Mega CD, but Police Norts on the other hand never once left Japan and the greedy bastards kept it all for themselves. But now you can just head on over to CD Romance and download a pre-patched ISO file ready to run in an emulator or modded console. I'm using the PlayStation version here running on my hacked PS3 so it runs like an absolute dream. The translation quality here is brilliant and there was a quite a lot of text to be translated but it's all been done to an extremely high quality. It's Japanese that it's been changed to English, but they also made sure that it's not just a literal translation, but the nuance of the dialogue has been changed into English too. But here's the real selling point. It's not impossible that one day Konami could just release an officially translated version of this game in the future when their dreams of shit mobile games and pachinko gambling goes up in smoke and they have to actually go back to making video games again. But in the Japanese version of Police Noughts, there are some parts that you know would be changed if Konami released it today. Certain parts of this game would trigger the permanently outraged social media mob and so the beauty of having a proper full translation of the Japanese original script is that you get moments like these. First of all, the cheeky Kojima 90s humour when you meet the spaceflight hostess and use the look function in certain areas of her. Fun stuff like this would get Twitter wankers crying into their soy-based drinks. But I think even stuff like the dark world building would get censored, even though it's there to give the player an idea on how bad some of these areas you have to visit in the game are, I bet the dark lore in this game would get censored too. So that's the great benefit of having community translations, you get an unflinching reproduction of the original artist's vision for a game like this, and not some watered down shy boy version. Next we have a solid gold cult classic, proven by the fact that Action Button can do a 6 hour review on Tokamiki Memorial and have it still pass a million views. Although to be fair, it's probably this video going so viral that's the reason that we even have an English translation of this game now. If you have seen the Action Button video, you know why having an English version of this game is such a big deal. If you've not seen the video, let me bring you up to speed. Tokamiki Memorial Memorial is a dating simulation game created by Konami while they were at the apex of their gaming output. Now you might think, what is the big deal about a dating game? Well let me tell you about the pedigree of staff that made this. The story and dialogue? Koji Irigashi, who wrote the scenario and helped program Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Producer, Tomikazu Kizura, 
who produced Snatcher and Rocket Knight Adventures. So the quality of staff behind this game is leagues higher than the shit tier hentai peddlers you'd normally get with a Japanese dating game. But this is no ordinary dating game. In fact, I would go as far as to say this is a top class strategy title wearing a dating game dress. And when you look under that dress, you won't find the moist comfort of a low grade hentai story. You are actually greeted by the firm shaft of strategy. The aim of the game is to get one of the girls to confess her love to you. Each of the different girls requires a different approach, so you'll need to level your character up in a different way for each one. Make certain dialogue choices, not only for the girl you're trying to get, but her friends too. You'll have to spend your weekends out of school in a planned manner to make sure you optimise your time doing things that will get people to think about you in the way you want. You'll have to make calculated risks based on how you think other characters will react. This is a full-on strategy life simulation and you won't win the girl you aim for just by saying nice things in dialogue options. It will require tactics, planning and skill. This Super Famicom game is never going to get an English version. Hell, even the PS1 conversion is over 25 years old now, so I doubt a remaster is ever going to happen. So chances are this is the only way you'll ever get to play this absolute cult class. Classic. To many, playing a dating game probably sounds a bit weird, but trust me, this is a strategy game brought to you by the people that made Snatcher, Castlevania and Rocket Knight. In June 1999, Sega asked Dreamcast owners, what Shenmue? Which is weird because Sega made Shenmue, so they should have known. But they asked this question by handing out this disc to people that had pre-ordered the game, and also by giving a copy away with video games magazine Famitsu. It turned out that Shenmue was the first console open world adventure game set in Japan during the mid 80s, and this demo gave players a taste of what it would be like to walk around as Ryo Hazuki, asking random people, if they'd seen the CEO of Sega. I covered Shenmue in my last video, where I played it off against its spiritual Sega sequel, Yakuza. I said that even though Yakuza is better in every possible measurable way, when it came out, Shenmue was incredible. I'm not gonna waste your time here and start explaining everything about Shenmue, as you probably already know. So let's move swiftly back to what Shenmue. So this is a demo disc that only ever came out in Japan. If it was ever gonna get an English translation, it would have been when Sega pushed out the Shenmue 1 and 2 HD collection. It would have made a nice bonus feature to the package, but Sega didn't bother. Just like how they had the perfect opportunity to make Shenmue 2 HD save files carry on over to Shenmue 3, but no one involved on either side bothered to lift a fucking finger. So thanks Yo Suzuki, thanks Sega, for only putting in the absolute bare minimum effort while you shit out these turds. <laughs> Anyway, even if they had have included this on the HD collection, the licensing branding of the Coca-Cola machines would have had to have been changed. So to get a pure translation like what's been offered on CD Romance, we have to rely on fan pre-patched ISO files. So what we have here is all the subtitles are now translated into English, so you can actually tell what is going on. You've been watching footage throughout this section of an ISO file burnt to a disc and then actually captured with a real Dreamcast console. Once again, CD Romance have got you covered and you can be playing this for the first time in English on the system it was designed for. You like Namco, right? Ridge Racer, Pac-Man, Tekken, Katamari, all great games that you enjoy. Surely they wouldn't have a long running and successful franchise that only stayed in Japan and didn't even see a single release outside the country, right? Well, that's exactly what's happened here. Idol Master is a Japanese pop idol management simulation with rhythm action sections created by industry giant Namco. And never once has any of these many games in the series ever seen a release outside of Japan. But now CD Romance is offering a plethora of English patched Idol Master games and I'm going to be showing you the perfect sun version on the Sony PlayStation Portable. Just like everyone else in the world I have custom firmware on my PSP so I can run the downloaded ISO file on my system. I even have the equipment to capture the footage directly from the PSP but this is the end result. It doesn't end up looking as good as the same ISO file running on my PS3 in PSP emulation mode. 
mode. You get a few artifacts in the text boxes, but overall, I think it looks better for a YouTube video. Anyway, in this game, you're a Japanese idol manager. You first choose which girl you want to train up to hit the big time with. Don't choose that one, you weirdo. Once you make your choice, you'll get to know your girl through story and dialogue and through multiple choice decisions that affect the girl's outcome. You'll have to pick what type of training your girl will undertake to try to become an idol, and the training sessions are rhythm action mini games. You can only do so much per in-game day, and you only have so many days until a big event like idol auditions or TV appearances happen, so you have to use a time wisely or you'll screw up the big events. Also, while you train your idol, story events will crop up involving other idols and personal crisis, which you'll have to deal with. Remember, this is a Namco game, so it's all going to be pretty good, but this version is well over a decade old now, and I doubt these PSP games will ever see an English translation ever. Now for the final game I'm going to show you, and it's by Game Arts, the masterminds behind such legendary titles as the Lunar RPG series, Sylphid, Alicia Dragoon, and the Grandia games. This is the Japanese interactive anime called Yumimi Mix Remix. Originally released on the Sega Mega CD as Yumimi Mix, then slightly touched up and re-released on the Sega Saturn as Yumimi Mix Remix. The special thing about this game is that we're all Almost every other anime based game of this era is just pre recorded anime handed to the players and FMV to watch. Yumimi Mix is actually all proper sprite work being rendered in real time, so this meant it didn't have any of the color compression issues or pixelization issues that plagued pre rendered video on consoles during this era, and as a result, ends up looking fantastic. So this game is like an anime show that has multiple choice sections in it. The choices that you make determine which way the story plays out. And the story in question is pretty good. It's set around a Japanese high school girl called Yumimi who discovers strange ghost-like beings in her school and then all sorts of funny but bizarre events start happening to her. This game is fully voiced and before now, unless you understood Japanese, there was no way to understand what was going on. But now fans have added in English subtitles so everyone can now see what's actually happening happening. The other games on this list are unlikely to get official translations in the future, but a game like You Me Me Mix has got zero chance. It was a Japanese only niche cult game in 1996 and the chance of a Japanese remaster is extremely low. Then the chance of that remaster getting a western release? No chance. But you could be enjoying this. You could be enjoying hundreds of games that never left Japan and always had a huge language barrier that prevented you from playing them. Get your ass over to CD Romance because it's a fucking gold mine over there.